Hi, uh, once again, I brought you to Cliffs. I don't know why I feel the need to imperil myself when I uh, teach these uh, play lessons, but I do, so there we go. Uh, I want to talk about um, one-handed spiral wrecks, um, which are a lot of fun and feel really cool, and you can do stuff like this. And if you're playing spiral wraps, it's not uh, that tough to learn to do it one-handed. We're going to talk about the right hand, and we're going to go into it from a backward weave, although you could do all the same things from a forward weave. But we're going to go from a backward weave. First thing is to find the moment where you can do this, with having neither poi wrap around its own hand. Because if you do that in one hand and not the other hand, that's usually where people have a lot of trouble. So you want to make sure you can come with no wraps to that. From that moment, you can play with just the right hand going and then letting it wrap around its own hand. Now again, you need to choose when it started to wrap. You could also go miss and around your two fingers. So you need to miss and then go around the fingers. So once you have control of that, what you're going to do in the moment where it wraps around its own hand, you hit it with the tether of the other poi, so the other poi begins to wrap as well. So you go miss, and then they will both wrap up more or less evenly. Without imperiling myself, show that a little closer maybe. I miss, and then they both wrap. And that gives me this nice even wrap, which if you do it really well, you can stop it and then release dramatically. Um, from a forward weave, so I was talking to G about this and he agrees that the forward weave seems to be easier. Let's see why. Oh, you wanna find from a forward weave that moment where you would do this. See, it hasn't wrapped around my own hand yet. In that moment, you miss, wrap around your right hand. Then you miss the right hand and let the left play also hit it. And again, you really have to play with exactly where you place your left play to get them to wrap evenly. So I put the tether right at the blade of my right hand. And that gives me a nice bang, nice even wrap. With the other one, I guess for the other one, I, I put it right basically at the top of my hand, and that is about makes it even. But you'll have to play depending on the size of your hands and your poi. You might have to mess around with that. So, um, yeah, they're, they're fun. I, uh, I go in between doing two handed spiral wraps and one handed spiral wraps. I really like the fact that with one hand you can go around a, a finger or two fingers, and that can be great when you want a really slow spiral wrap. So you can go. So what I told you a moment ago about uh, making sure you miss and then wrap, um, I realized immediately afterwards it's only partially true. You can wrap immediately. The only difference is whether you're going to go as far as you can with the other hand or hit early with the other hand. And you can totally make it work either way. So this shows you Anything I say, take it with a grain of salt. So you can miss and wrap like this and get a nice wrap. You can also wrap right away and the other poi just has to be out here enough to also get a nice wrap. And of course the other one, I haven't seen any updates. You just uh, go right from say a forward weave and uh, it works. So reporting live from uh, where are we? Tenerife, Tenerife Island in Masca Gorge.